Friday, Friday, Friday. Let me tell you a story. When I went to college in Southern California, right around the time that I started going to college was when one of the radio stations in the Los Angeles area changed their format from easy listening to pirate radio. That was their format. And they played a lot of metal. But it was like, they were very edgy. Like they weren't a real, they were pirate radio. Even though at the top of the hour, they would dutifully mutter under their breath their call letters. The reason I bring this up is because they had a wacky morning zoo type program. And every Friday, it seemed that for about 45 minutes, they would do nothing but say, Friday, 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 Friday. And occasionally they might play some music or something, but there'd always be like two guys in the back who would just, Friday! They were very excited about Fridays. I wonder if they still do that. Probably not. I wonder if Pirate Radio is still around. I wonder if anybody remembers this stuff besides me. I actually have a Pirate Radio promo CD where they included some of their history. It included the last... 30 seconds as uh, the easy listening station and you heard uh, you know, England, Dan Ford and John, whatever the guy's name, you know. Really want to see it. It faded out. With all the FCC jargon. The call letter changed. And then uh, shoot, some rock song. I'm going to have to find that CD now so I can share it with you. Two minutes in, and I totally unplanned and forgot whatever I was going to talk about. But it is Friday. Uh, it's, it's a late one for me, 7.23 p.m., 72 degrees. Today, I am told, first day of fall where sunset is before 7 p.m. Sun went down before 7 p.m. Sunset was 6.58 officially. Very depressing. It means when I get out of here, it will be dark. And we're not far off from that time when uh, it'll be dark when I leave the house and then dark when I leave work. And I just won't see any sunlight at all. Of course, given my penchant for sleeping in, it's quite possible the sun will be up after I leave. But starting to get to that time of the year, very depressing when you think about it. Some people like it, though. Look, I got a box from Amazon. Because I knew I'd have nothing to talk about today, I thought I would do an unboxing for you. They're also uh, advertising a video game. Oh, they're doing it on both sides. Never mind. So let's uh, open up security tape. I should know what this is, because it's something I bought, but we'll see. I could be surprised. And if I am surprised, I'll be surprised in front of you. The real question is, is everything in one box? Here's a lot of air. That's always fun. Hooray! Those of you who saw me do a DVD report earlier this week probably already know. It's my copy of Dick Van Dyke and Company. Um, this guy's in it. This, this lady's in it. And, of course, this dude's in it. And about 50,000 mimes. Because in the late 70s, there was this fad where you had to watch uh, pantomime on television. And you were wrapped with attention. And it was also real cheap because those mimes don't have a lot of props, if you know what I'm saying. Complete series. Wow. Now, I would have been four or five when this aired. But for some reason, probably because of the mimes, I have vivid memories of watching this television. This may be some of the earliest television I remember watching. Beyond... Uh, Chuck Woolery's Wheel of Fortune, Match Game 74. Because, you know, when I was up, it was a lot of daytime television, so there was a lot of uh, game shows. I love game shows, too. Game shows were so great back then, too. Even though I had no idea what was going on. But those luck ones were fun to watch, because you didn't have to know the answers to any questions. And there was the ones with the big flashing numbers, and the big, you know, you had to get the, roll the dice, or, oh, yeah. And I bought the complete series. I, I don't know. I, I, I was weak in a moment of weakness. 
let's face it, if I can see the episode where that happens, where did her butt go? It went all the way, her butt just went all the way off the side of the package. Here are the ones you love. Here are the other ones. Hey, it's the same one in both. Yeah. Here's some more. Here's some more. Is this enough action for you, Cheryl? Look at all that action. I can't wait to see that episode. And then when this happens, and then, you know. Hey, there's the dude. There was the dude on this show. That's all I bought. That's all I can afford. Actually, I spent fun money on that. Those, those were gift certificate purchases. If I had to spend real money, I probably wouldn't have bought them. Well, I may have bought the Dick Van Dyke one. I'm going to try to see if I can con Ken in, Kim into watching at least one episode of that tonight, the Dick Van Dyke one. Uh, maybe she'll remember it. She was older than me after all, right? Oh, that's a secret. Free soda. That's why it's not in the bottle. Also, it's Diet Pepsi. I'm not big on, you know, this. actually this Diet Pepsi doesn't taste too bad. Perhaps years of drinking Pepsi Max have conditioned me to the sugar-free Pepsi products. Phil left a comment on Facebook saying that he wasn't poking fun about my lack of numbers. He was just pointing out that he does pay attention. I apologize for any, any problems there might have been. Hey, you know what, Phil? Were you around? You were around. Lou recommended me on LinkedIn for some reason. I must have popped up on somebody's radar because all of a sudden I got a lot of LinkedIn recommendations. Are they all think I'm leaving or something? I don't know. But I popped up on radars and then these people from my past are giving me recommendations, which is weird because I don't think any of them ever remembered me as a terribly good worker. Although I was a terribly smart worker and a terribly smart ass worker, and I still am. But now that we're into this social media component, a week ago, and I think I forgot to talk about this, every day I've meant to talk about it, but last Friday morning I came in early to just kind of find out what they were talking about because they were offering a social media training thing for people, not even in my group it turns out, but somehow because we had a common vice president I got invited to this thing. So like, I just listened to them talk about this other group, but they were talking about Twitter do you know Twitter's all the rage with the kids, and when a lot of people talk about something, it becomes a TT. That's a trending topic. What we'd really like is for the hashtag semantic storage to become a trending topic. And I'm just thinking, that will never happen. The social media guru who works for semantic, they want us all to follow. I looked him up. I did tell you this, didn't I? He has about... 90 followers and he's tweeted 40 times or has he tweeted 90 times and has 40 followers either way it just doesn't give you that peaceful easy feeling about what we're trying to accomplish what are we trying to accomplish in social media here in net backup we're more concerned with getting people's net backup environment running and those people tend to not be sitting there on twitter talking about their problems they're trying to talk to our tech support people to get their problems fixed we have an extensive community, Semantic Connect. So if you're ever bored and you want to see what I do outside of personal writing, professional writing, I hang out on the Net Backup Forum. This is not uh, news to you, I'm sure. But there are rumors that even we in Net Backup have to somehow become more socially media-ish. I don't know. I just... Part of me wants to stand up and say, I am very active in social media, and the other part says, don't let work take that over. Just, just don't, just try to, just keep them walled up, you know. Considering I do these YouTube videos from my office, there really isn't that wall, but in my mind, I like to pretend there is. I may be talking about work, but there's clear there's nothing to do with work when I'm doing this, and, you know, my work time, my work day is over. And, 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 I don't know. Stay tuned because there may be more on that front probably sooner than I would like. But for now, that's another week. And uh, another thank you from me to you for sitting here listening to me, probably talking to myself, which is a sign of impending mental collapse. Hmm. 
But as always, if you have uh, something you would like to say to me, or I have somehow inspired in you the need to say something, uh, what? You know how to find me. Here, there, crz.net has all the links to everywhere I am, just about everywhere. Actually, you can't get to Semantic Connect from there, but you could probably figure out what that is if you try real hard. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for sitting around. Thanks for even complaining because you're still watching so you can complain about it. So that's something. Uh, I'll see you Monday, God willing, probably with some very exciting stories, but uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Five weeks until the season starts. Go Lynx. Their playoffs start tonight. My time is way over. Uh, I love you. I'll see you Monday, I hope.